What is up everybody? Welcome back to the next weekly ramble video. I hope you all are doing fantastic this week. Uh, getting back into the swing of things has been a little bit stressful, but we are there now and we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's jump right in. First of all, Will will be back. Uh, assuming everything goes correctly, he will be back next week on the podcast. We're going to bring that back. We're really, really excited about it. We're supposed to be recording that this afternoon, in fact. Uh, so I'm really stoked to actually get back into the swing of things and jump into uh, Ravnica Allegiance a little bit in the podcast. It's going to be a really good time. So stay tuned. We will be back for that. Uh, that should be coming out every Wednesday from here on out. Uh, so just keep an eye out for that. We're going to jump back into it on our normal basis. Uh, we have no plans for another season break. Uh, that this was really just so that Will could kind of get accustomed to having a baby and everything, who just turned a month old as of yesterday. Uh, she's absolutely adorable. But uh, yeah, so everything going according to plan so far. Uh, so we're really excited to bring that back. Uh, tomorrow, Magic Wars is starting for the very first time. This is a new venture. Uh, it's a partnership with Burst of Knowledge. So if you don't know, they're our partner channel, Tyler Lee. Uh, is the content creator over there. He does a fantastic job. Really, really stoked to be working with him on this project. We've already recorded some of the video, uh, and the plan is to kind of piece together the last little, the gameplay portion of it uh, with these new pre-release kits. So we're actually going to be jumping into a, a pre-release. We're only going to be able to do one game just to be able to get this out on some meaningful amount of time, uh, but we're really, really excited to delve into it. We do have a little bit of commentary that goes on before and after the game, uh, so definitely check that out. I think it's going to be a useful thing as well as just a really fun kind of gameplay uh, style video that we have not delved into before. So we're really, really excited to work with him on that. Uh, that is going to be sponsored by Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Their Facebook group is linked down below. Uh, if you're not in, or if you, excuse me, if you are in uh, the Charlotte, North Carolina area or South Carolina area, uh, right on the border there, you should really check them out. They're in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Their address and everything is on their Facebook page, but they are truly, truly a great store. Uh, they've revamped everything over the last year, and it looks fantastic. The magic scene there is growing. They do EDH tournaments uh, every weekend on Saturdays. So if you are interested in that, I highly suggest checking them out. But uh, very, very excited for Magic Wars. It's going to be awesome. I am not telling you which guilds that we picked, so you will have to watch the video to actually find out. Uh, but I'm very excited to see what, what turns out of mine. I haven't even opened the guild kit yet. We haven't, we haven't uh, actually delved into the, the making of the decks or anything quite yet. So really stoked about that. Uh, and again, thank you to Tyler for really, this was sort of his idea originally. Uh, we took it to, we, we talked together to kind of vamp it out and make sure that uh, it, it flows the way that we want it to and everything. This is going to be a first iteration of this. We've got plans for it in the future that are a little bit more intensive, more people involved, that kind of thing. This is really just Tyler and I going at this this time uh, as a bit of a proof of concept. So we're really excited about it, but this is just the first iteration. The Magic Wars branding is on there, so that way we can get kind of a feel for how it's actually going to turn out. So uh, get stoked for that. It's going to be awesome. Uh, another thing, uh, it is towards the end of January. We're getting close to that time where we would normally do a giveaway, and we do have a giveaway planned. We do not know exactly what we're giving away, but it will, of course, be Ravnica Allegiance related. Uh, we do these, if you don't already know, uh, we do these giveaways once a month, usually uh, towards the end of the month. We just do a week-long giveaway. Uh, generally, they're focused on YouTube. That being said, we're kind of toying with the idea of building up some other platforms, Twitter, Instagram, things like that. Uh, I think we may, we're kind of jumping between Instagram and then YouTube on this first one. Uh, so if you have any, uh, any, I guess, opinion on that, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I don't really know why you would, but just in case. Uh, and so that's kind of the plan. We're really excited to actually start giving away stuff again. It feels like it's been a while, even though it really hasn't been that long. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, we'll probably post that in the next week or two. Uh, Will's coming back. I talked about that. I've got my list here. Uh, Ravnica Allegiance, uh, as a whole, we've got a lot to talk about here. Most of this is going to be covered in the next podcast episode in the first one. Uh, we thought that was a good time to bring the podcast back. New set coming out. We wanted to talk about everything. Uh, we also wanted to wait until after pre-release weekend, so we've got a little bit more information to work with on it. Uh, we knew we would miss the boat on like the full spoilers and everything like that, uh, which have already obviously been released. Uh, and so we thought that was a good way to do it. That way we can actually hopefully give you guys a rundown of some pre-release info, things like that. Um, but 
Uh, and in regards to Ravnica Allegiance, yesterday a mechanics video, uh, overview video, was posted on our channel. Uh, I worked on that. That was really because like, I found these mechanics to be significantly more interesting than a lot of mechanics that we've seen uh, in past sets. I think Guilds of Ravnica had some good ones as well. I just, because we were in the mindset of like Will's Baby coming along and things like that, we didn't really get the time to actually flesh that video out. This time around, I went ahead and fleshed everything out prior uh, and made sure that you know I had the day that I wanted to release it and everything like that. I will say, and uh, thank you very quickly to, I believe it's just CH on YouTube, but uh, provided us for with some feedback for that video. Uh, feedback is always welcome, whether it's good, bad, indifferent, however you want to put it, but uh, I do really love feedback, so thank you uh, for providing some. And the question was raised, why didn't I give like a ranking system to these guilds and to these mechanics? Uh, overall, he said he really enjoyed the video, he just would have liked to have seen that, uh, which I appreciate, but the reason I didn't, at least in this iteration, uh, and I did address this in the comment section, was just that I, I wanted this to be a much more informational focused uh, video. I did put my own opinion in there, so that is there, but if I was ranking things and kind of delving into that aspect of it, I feel like I would have been just giving you my opinion of these mechanics that I didn't create and haven't got the opportunity to play with. And so like, I didn't want to give an ill-informed uh, ranking system if I don't actually know how these things are gonna go. So uh, I do like all of these mechanics. Uh, I do go over uh, playability in that video as well as flavor and how they really tie into the guild sort of methodology and everything uh, So if you're interested in that, I would really highly suggest checking it out um, And again feedbacks always welcome. So feel free if you agree disagree uh, If you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know uh, and we will do the best we can to accommodate you uh, Here on it resolves uh, But that is a really exciting uh, video for us. It's kind of new new territory a little bit So please check it out support it if you like it if you don't that's fine. I appreciate you watching it, but uh, that's kind of where we're at for that. So as far as the full set's concerned, briefly, I just want to mention that it looks really, really good. I'm stoked about this set. Uh, we, when Guilds of Ravnica originally came out, uh, we actually did a deck tech, which is now our most watched video of a Saltai mid-range build. Uh, and it was a really, really cool build. I believe it was originally, the list was originally put together by a uh, Channel Fireball member. If I'm not mistaken, it was Channel Fireball. Uh, apologize if I am wrong, but uh, it looked really, really good, and I was really hoping that like that deck would kind of take off. That's why I did that one first, because I really like that Sultai mid-range feel. Uh, we did get Golgari Aggro, which was m kind of a mid-rangey deck, and I did kind of like the feel of that. It, it, it was reminiscent of that deck, but I really liked having blue in there for certain cards. But it did not. It did not like flesh out in the meta. It didn't really have the support that it needed. Uh, and so I'm really excited to say that in uh, Ravnica Allegiance, I think we're going to hopefully get to that point. Uh, we've got a lot of good Simic stuff coming out uh, that just looks, oh, it just looks fantastic. So I'm really excited to see how it goes. Uh, we've also got, I mean, all of the guilds have a lot of really great cards. Azorius, I think, is going to push, in particular, Esper. Uh, to potentially a new level, Mardu maybe even, uh, just with all of the removal that it gets from Orzhov and Rakdos, there's just so much out there. Uh, and so we might see, I think Control and Midrange are really going to kind of take the take the front running slot here. Um, obviously aggro decks are going to be very strong too, uh, Gruul and Rakdos are both very aggro focused uh, guilds. And so I'm stoked to see how those flesh out, see if my, my expectation, and I, I, I can fully say I might be wrong on this, especially in Standard. Most of you know I don't really keep up with it all that much. Uh, I do the best I can for the podcast, but like I don't play Standard personally. That's more of Will's territory. Um, generally speaking, when a new set comes out, though, we see a flood of just aggro decks. Uh, and they kind of take over the meta for a little while until the mid-range, the control decks kind of start to, okay, I know what they're going to play. I know what I need to actually build against. And then control lists can kind of start being fleshed out and actually start being worked on uh, to the point where they're competitively viable. So my expectation is that that will probably still happen. Uh, but I do think because of the base that we have in Guilds of Ravnica and the new cards being put out uh, with Ravnica Allegiance, I think we've got a really good like mesh up for control. Uh, so I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I, I really do think it's a fantastic set. Uh, it looks really, really solid. A few cards I'm, I'm hoping, speculating a little bit, but I'm hoping are going to hit outside of just standard. 
Uh, if you've watched, I know, I believe the professor put out his normal top five video. I've also seen a few articles I know on cardsphere.com they were talking about that in modern per in particular. Uh, I think humans got a big buff, uh, modern humans, not that it needs it, but uh, definitely got a buff and potentially got a new build style, but we'll, we'll talk about that at some point uh, on the podcast most likely. So overall, I just want to say that I'm really excited about this set. We are going to delve more into it in the podcast, so stay tuned for that on Wednesday of next week. Uh, but other than that, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm interested to see how this one, this one actually pans out. But I think that's it. I think that's everything I want to talk about. I'm going to break the fourth wall really quick and just tell you that I had to record this twice. Uh, I bought a new mic. Uh, it's a Rode NTG2. Uh, as a boom mic, uh, not only for It Resolves, but for another uh, project that I'm working on, uh, a music project that I'm working on. Uh, and so I bought this mic, I had it set up, I recorded the first iteration of this video, uh, which funny enough turned out to be about the same length. Um, I recorded that iteration of the video and then realized the entire audio track was just feedback. Uh, and I don't know exactly what it was. I'm now recording on my laptop, which is why the audio might sound a little bit different on this one. Uh, but I was editing or I was recording before on the Mac mini and that did not work at all. Uh, so I just thought, okay, you know what? I tested the cord. I tested the mic. I tested everything and nothing was fixing it. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to try it on a different computer and that seems to have fixed it. So here we are. Um, I'm hopefully going to be retiring the Mac mini pretty soon, but Anyway, that's a rant for another day, but I do hope you guys have had a fantastic week. Good luck in your pre-releases this weekend. Uh, we will, of course, be doing our Magic Wars video, so please check that out uh, for some, hopefully, some tips and tricks and things like that that you can see. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out how that fleshes out. Again, we haven't recorded that yet, but really excited to see how this goes. If you do have any deck lists from this weekend, uh, this coming weekend, that you are interested in sharing, please do so. We would absolutely love to talk about those, maybe even on the next podcast episode. Uh, a deck you loved, a deck you hated, uh, a just silly kind of brew deck, whatever you're thinking, uh, throw it down below. We would love to check it out. So, uh, But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to head out. I will see you in the next weekly ramble video.